Hey, good afternoon everybody and welcome back to the channel. Well, today we're going to start right here on the, the solar panel array and bring you up to speed real quick. Uh, have had this bottom string uh, running for quite a while now. Uh, just in the past few days got the top string assembled and hooked up. Uh, it's two separate strings of five 100 watt panels. The only, they're exactly the same panels. They're all those new power 12 volt monocrystalline, which work really well in this climate. Uh, the bottom string, uh, I've got a run of 10 gauge wire and based on recommendations from a couple of you, uh, since it's a long run, this top string I ran with 8 gauge wire. So I'll take you in and show you the difference between those two strings and the real news for today is really exciting and I'll share that to you in just a second. Let's head on into the utility room. So for the past few days, I've been revamping the system, adding that second string of panels. Uh, required me to put in a, a second EP ever 40 amp controller. And while I've been rerunning everything, I also put in a couple of uh, battery isolators. I've got the the first one tied in to the new charge controller, and the second controller is still over on that wall over there, but it's going to get mounted right here. They are both up and running right now, but I'm going to uh, put that other one in uh, right next to the new one. And then there's the new MT50. But the big news is this new charge controller by EP Ever, wait for it, drum roll. So here we're going to go into the control parameters of the brand new EP Ever 40 amp controller. And there it is. Look at that. LifePo 4 preset installed. One push of the button. Uh, I, I ran across it inadvertently last night. I was getting ready to uh, program this to the same parameters I've used on the first one, which if you've watched my videos going back many months now, I struggled with in the beginning because it just came with a preset of sealed lead acid, AGM, uh, and and so in a user setting to where you could program it to your lithium batteries. But here with this new uh, charge controller, last night I was just sitting there thinking, okay, I'm going to start programming this to match up the other one. And I went through and I saw the sealed lead acid, the gel and the AGM settings. And then I pushed it one more time and there's a preset lithium iron phosphate setting on this new EP ever. They're identical uh, charge controllers, identical programming with the MT50, but this for me is uh, just the big game changer that EP ever did. Now it's pre-installed with a lithium setting. So I'll go over the settings and show you what they look like on the pre-installed. So there's your temperature compensation coefficiency. over voltage discharge, charge limit, <clears throat> which that's exactly what the, the CHIN's recommendation is, is that 14.6, as well as a lot of other lithium batteries. So that's perfect. Over voltage reconnect, 14.6, equalize charge. Now this will match, as you'll see, the 14.5 equalize charge. We're not concerned about equalizing lithium, of course, but it does need to be set to what your boost charge is. So this is what the preset is here on this lithium, which is right in the parameters of the Chins battery. They want it between 14.2 and 14.6. I've run it on 14.2 for a long time. It does just fine. And they do recommend to set that float for 13.8, even though you're not going to be floating. 
the Boost Reconnect 13.2, 12.8. These are the settings that I had the most problem understanding and programming in the original uh, EP ever with the MT50. But now it is all done for you. You just press the lithium iron phosphate. There's your under voltage reconnect, under voltage warning. These are all perfect, perfect parameters to run the lithium battery. Low voltage disconnect, discharge limit. <clears throat> and this is the only part of this preset that you can manipulate if you want to. You can change your boost time and uh, the, the equalized time, make them match because they're set at the same 14.5. That way it will never actually try to equalize. And before I have used uh, currently my boost time on the other EP ever is I, I went from 5 minutes to 10 minutes and then 30 minutes and I really like that. I'm going to just leave it like this for a while. I may knock that down a little bit over time. I'll see how it does, but I'm just going to leave it exactly on the preset. That is a game changer in my mind. Besides being one of the most affordable uh, charge controllers out there, uh, this unit with the MT50 uh, and a little uh, temperature gauge that you can run out of here and drop it between your batteries as well. About 160 bucks for the whole thing. Extremely affordable. And as I've mentioned before, programming through here can be done. Better to get it with the MT50. Much, much easier uh, to program that MT50 uh, through the controller that way. Just so much easier. I can't uh, overemphasize that enough. It's so funny because last night as I was uh, starting to rerun some wires and tighten everything up and I got to kind of a stopping point. I needed one more breaker uh, to get in on that uh, Victron charger and then get ready to move the other controller over here. But I was just sitting here thinking, getting tired, going, well, I'll start to program this the way that the old one is. And I thought, you know, it'd been so nice if they would have just put a lithium setting in there, since a lot of people are switching over to lithium. And I had no idea that they had done that with this until I actually started going through there. Now, the old one does not have a lithium setting. I had to pre-program it with the parameters I wanted. But now, I'm just going to uh, go with these parameters and plug that into my uh, original EP ever. So now I've got two 40 amp controllers, uh, one dedicated to each string of panels. So if I go back up to monitoring, can show you what that's doing right now. And of course there's a, a cloud I was hoping to show you. Uh, on a just a burst of sunshine, but anyway, 75 volts, well within the 100 uh, volt range of the controller, but it's only pushing five amps. Uh, a minute ago, I did get a burst of sun uh, that was just fantastic, and I was pumping in with the two combined controllers, 65 watts of power. Or, or, I'm excuse me, 65 amps. I was pulling about. Uh, 30 off of each one. Uh, this one running off that 8 gauge wire off those panels was putting in a few more amps more efficiently. So I need to mention that and that's probably why I will go ahead and run the 8 gauge off that bottom string as well as has been suggested to me many times and I thank you all for that. So like I said the other charge controller is going to go right there. And then the other MT50 right there. So side by side, got this marked for that top string of panels. I'll mark that for my bottom string of panels. So there's never any confusion. Um, the other thing that I put in uh, new this time around was this uh, solar panel uh, isolator. And I've got the top string uh, tied in with the eight gauge wire. Uh, 
little difficult working with the 8 gauge in this uh, tight configuration. Uh, of course, the 10 is, is super easy. The 10 gauge is super easy. And I will uh, hook that up initially, but I think I'm going to order some more of this 8 gauge. It's just, it's, it is definitely more efficient for the long run that I'm doing. Uh, got the old Victron down there and I got so tired last night I was I needed to put a, a breaker in here for that and I ended up running it uh, without the breaker but I'm gonna stick the breaker right there got the breaker coming off the uh, 50 amp breaker coming off the charge controller I'm gonna put another one on the other charge controller right next to it run over so it's all it's all looking really good uh, over the next few days. I'll get all those runs a little straighter and nicer, but uh, really happy to have this isolator in here. That way I want to make any uh, adjustments to the system. I can uh, just flip the panels off, uh, protect the charge controllers, and, and then turn my uh, uh, main switch off on the power and you know, you can go to turn in some wrenches and be safe about it. So it still looks, a, you know, a little bit uh, of a mess compared to the way I want it to look in its finalized condition. But in, I may move things just a little bit here and there over the next few days. But really, really happy with the way this is coming together. Got all the safety features in uh, minus just a couple of breakers now that's going to go in in the next couple of days just couldn't be happier this system is working so so great and like right there there's that top string now 79 volts 35 amps coming in i'll run it over to this one real quick 78 79 volts 32 32 amps so you can see there is a difference and and then here's what's sweet 65 amps coming in off those panels now just absolutely thrilled absolutely thrilled big difference not going to be using that Victron too too terribly much now yeah love that that's the uh eight difference of that eight gauge wire look at that 35 amps. Could just stay in focus for you all. All right. And back to where we started. And now it's just perfect. Beautiful sunny day. Just had to share that with you guys about that EP ever now having the lithium setting uh, pre-installed. It's going to make everything a lot easier for everybody. So glad they did that. I'm kind of surprised they're not advertising that a little harder. I've looked on the online and and all around today, and it did mostly just say compatible with lithium. But boy, I think they should promote that one push of the button, and you've got your lithium settings in place. All right. Hope you all enjoyed this. Thanks for tuning in, everybody. Aloha.